Greetings, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to our very first YouTube, which is a preparation video for our fall assembly entitled Prophetic Hope, Imagine the Possibilities. The assembly will be held on Sunday, this October 10th, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Martino Hall. Registration on the day of the assembly will begin at 9.30. In the next few minutes, I, along with Connie Gilder and Fran Hart, hope to provide you with all the necessary information to prepare for and participate in the assembly. The Congregational Fall Assembly is a component of the new model for consultation which you approved at the spring gatherings with the General Council. It flows from our strategic plan and the values articulated at our 2009 chapter. Because it is a consultation, it requires the acquisition of good information, focused conversation, personal and communal reflection, and discernment. The shared wisdom of all of us will point the way to the future we long for and that God desires for us. The major presentation will be given by Sister Constance Fitzgerald, OCD. Connie will help root our commitment to transformation through the lens of prophetic hope. This kind of hope calls us to risk conversing about the hopes and fears that stir within our hearts regarding our identity, the signs of the times, our life together, and what it may mean for us to become our best selves for the sake of the mission of Jesus. The day's offering includes presentations, reflections, open mic time, and table conversation, which we believe will lead us to the spirit-filled individual, communal, and congregational direction and renewal. Preparation for the assembly is already in process. You are aware the current articles relevant to the future of religious life have already been recommended. They call our attention to the desires of those seeking religious life today and the deep questions concerning how to live it at every stage of our lives. These articles can be accessed via the Congregational Assembly webpage. Many of the articles have been posted since last fall, and several local communities and clusters have taken the opportunity to discuss them at gatherings. Of course, our constitutions and our strategic plan are also critical resources to inform and form our consciousness of who we are and what we are called to become. We encourage you to meet as local communities prior to the assembly, to share with one another your insights from the readings and your hopes for the future of our congregation. All information pertaining to the assembly can be found on the assembly webpage. Logistics such as parking, table seating, schedule, and processes concerning the day will be posted closer to the time of the assembly. Registration for the assembly will begin August 10th and will close September 10th. The registration form will be posted on the webpage and can be completed electronically. It may be helpful over the summer months to identify someone to take responsibility for checking the webpage for updates. Connie Fitzgerald will offer us theological and spiritual challenges to assist us in framing our desires for the future. 
we will have time to reflect on and share our individual perspectives with one another, even as we listen for the wisdom of the group and the nudges that call us to move forward to the more. Later, we will listen to a dialogic presentation by two of our sisters using the images of Mary and Elizabeth to break open the realities and creativity of multi-generational living. This portion of the day has the potential to set before us the mutuality of growth and affirmation that both the young and the seasoned have to offer to one another, all for the future of our congregation and its mission. We anticipate three responses from participants. First, we will be asking individual sisters and associates to make a generous promise that expresses what they believe God is asking of them at this time in fidelity to our mission and our life together. Second, we will be asking sisters to name the desire they have for their local community so that together they can discover what is most life-giving for themselves and new members. We know from our constitutions, and I quote, the sisters animated by the Holy Spirit are the greatest resource of the congregation. It is by the witness of our community life and loving service that others respond to God's call to join us in our life and mission." End quote. Third, we will be asking sisters and associates to offer their best thinking and wisdom to advise the current leadership and those associated with both initial and ongoing formation regarding a future direction for the congregation. We ask each local community to schedule a house meeting within a month after the assembly to share with one another the fruits of their experience. Out of this mutual sharing, we ask that a new statement of intent be developed that will frame the way in which the group desires to live in response to the graces of the assembly. Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you have all that you need to fully participate in the fall assembly. We look forward to seeing you there.